How can one take delight in the world unless one flees to it for refuge? Not everyone can see the truth, but he can be it. There is an infinite amount of hope in the universe, but not for us. Idleness is the beginning of all vice, the crown of all virtues. There is an endless amount of hope in the universe, but not for us. By imposing too great a responsibility, or rather, all responsibility, on yourself, you crush yourself. Youth is happy because it has the ability to see beauty. Anyone who keeps the ability to see beauty never grows old. Self-control means wanting to be effective at some random point in the infinite radiations of my spiritual existence. My fear is my substance, and probably the best part of me. We are separated from God on two sides, the fall separates us from Him, the tree of life separates Him from us. I can hardly stand my own mind. If there is a transmigration of souls then I am not yet on the bottom rung. My life is a hesitation before birth. I am a cage, in search of a bird. Logic may indeed be unshakable, but it cannot withstand a man who is determined to live. You can hold yourself back from the sufferings of the world, that is something you are free to do and it accords with your nature, but perhaps this very holding back is the one suffering you could avoid. From a certain point onward there is no longer any turning back. That is the point that must be reached. The decisive moment in human evolution is perpetual. That is why the revolutionary spiritual movements that declare all former things worthless are in the right, for nothing has yet happened. Believing in progress does not mean believing that any progress has yet been made. In theory there is a possibility of perfect happiness, to believe in the indestructible element within one, and not to strive towards it. One of the first signs of the beginning of understanding is the wish to die. Writing is utter solitude, the descent into the cold abyss of oneself. Theology is a permissible profession for those who do not feel called to write. Don't ever believe that you have the right to comment on the writing of others unless you know the laws of every realm of art intimately. The indestructible is one, it is each individual human being and, at the same time, it is common to all, hence the incomparably indivisible union that exists between human beings. It's often safer to be in chains than to be free. A book should serve as the axe for the frozen sea within us.